today we're going to continue the topic on the electric defrost and kind of go through the two components that you potentially will see in a common evaporator. We've got both our heater safety and we have our defrost termination and fan delay. And basically operation of this is the time clock would initiate the defrost. They're energizing the heaters. The heaters would start heating up the evaporator to to take off the frost and the ice and convert it back into water and drain out the drain. And then at a predetermined temperature, this three-way this three switch would basically open up and switch over energizing the X terminal, which would go back to the time clock and terminate the defrost. Now always remember that the three-way switch is the primary and the time clock is always the backup. And in case something happens in that circuit, that is why the heater safety is there. The heater safety is in series with it to take out the heaters if this evaporator goes over the temperature. At the time when the time clock uh, puts the unit in the defrost, it also energizes the heaters and disconnects the fans and also it disconnects the uh, liquid line solenoid valve to pump the unit down. It might be that that would have an interconnecting switch at the condensing unit before the heaters are energized with a contactor. It could be either kind of system, if it's, an in if it's wired back to the condensing unit or not. When the, the evaporator heats up to the termination temperature, that in turn would energize the switch to energize the uh, X terminal to take the, the uh, time clock out of defrost. Then at that time, the liquid line solenoid, if the thermostat is called for cooling, the thermostat then would ener de energize the solenoid valve. The unit would go into operation. Well, when that happens, we don't want to bring the fans on immediately because you've got the evaporator saturated with moisture. So in this three-way switch, it has a fan delay in it also that it would allow the evaporator to pre-chill to the evaporator to temperature, basically kind of refreezing it, kind of sort. So then the evaporator fans then would not blow water out into the box. So basically it would re-chill the evaporator. And then when that temperature came down below freezing, then it would energize the fans and bring the fan on.